Well, hello. How is all of you guys doing? How all of you? How all of my high manifestors doing today? Great, great. It's really great to see you guys here today. So let's get everybody in the chat checking in from where wherever part of the globe you are in. It's wonderful. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing? Hey, good morning. Good morning, Philadelphia. Good morning. Hello, Indianapolis. Checking in here. Miami, let's check in. Good morning. Good afternoon, Atlanta. Hello, New York. The UK, what time is it now? It is the afternoon in the UK. You guys are five hours ahead. Mid, mid, mid afternoon, mid evening. Australia, the next day for you there. Philly, DC, Jupiter, Finland, Detroit, Virginia, Minneapolis, UK. Let me see where, where, what, what state, what country has the most representative? Well, New Jersey is here, Canada, Toronto, Kentucky, India. Wow, Tampa, Delaware. We have we man, we have we have all high manifesting agents, the good agents though, in all parts of the all parts of the globe. We have the APC and the main player characters, Florida, North Carolina, Pittsburgh. Ooh, Pittsburgh, Michigan. Oh man, you guys are having a it's it's a cold Louisiana, cold, the cold, Texas. California. Ca oh, you're you're watching me in California. You're really dedicated because now it is what? Uh, what? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 7 a.m. in the morning. Some of you guys are watching late in the, in the afternoon or evening. Northern California, Indiana, Utah. Ah, I love Utah. The, pr the pristine... Utah, the mountains there, the flats, the deserts, all over the world. You guys are so fabulous. All right, so today's lesson or lecture is this is how they're stealing your power to manifest, right? So I want to break down some things that you may not be aware of, or you may have, Pennsylvania. But look, the first thing is, all right. Now, a lot of people are like, okay, and I say, now I gotta say, now you understand and now you believe me, right? This, uh, here, look. This, see this clean slate? So look, you wanna have nice skin like this, right? You wanna have that? Guys, ladies, right? I was asking me, man, how your skin is so nice, Mark? How is it? This, this, Every one of you, if you're on my channel, you have to get this. This is what helps Mark, and this is gonna help you to manifest. This raises your vibration. This detoxes your body, your blood, the every metals. This increases the vividness of your dream, opens up the pineal gland, decalcifies it. This chronic stuff, allergies, pain, all. Look, the reason I'm bringing this up again is because of you. I get so many emails. Hey Mark, can you talk about the uh, the root? Can you can you advertise it some more, man? I want to get the root clean slate. Here it is. When you do this, you take it for at least three months. Oh good, that reminds you to take your dose, yes. This is the clean slate. It is a heavy metal detoxifier. Our bodies, our, you know, our skin is an organ. It takes up all this stuff. This will help your body to release it. And by releasing it, it also, the body now starts to work optimally more now. So you don't get the allergies, the chronic fatigue, the insomnia, the brain fog, energy increases, especially, now this, this is, this is good for people who are manifesting. <clears throat> especially if you want to do lottery or money stuff, this is it. Because I'm now, personally speaking, from me to you, okay, your intuition is on supercharge. The scratch off wind you see I post all the time, this definitely has something to do with it. 
Okay, works for Mark. It'll work for you. And a lot of you have been giving me great reviews. I'll put the link in the description. Go get your clean slate. Okay, here we go. Master B77. Mark is right. This this route helped with my insomnia. My sleep schedule is back to normal. Job, of course. So go get your route clean slate. I'll put the link in the description. All right. Um, school, my school platform. Get in it. A lot of members in there. I have I'm going to be closing it up for members soon because um, I cannot take. The, the, the platform I have only allows a certain amount of members, so it's going to be capped in a little bit. So get in there while you can, and that way I can get you guys more attention to manifest and create your desires. All right. All right, so let's get into it. All right. So I see some questions going in here. Um, can you put it in the chat where to purchase? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it in the chat. I'm gonna put it in the guys, it's gonna be in pin comments. Pin comments, all right? Put, you're gonna see me up there, my pin comment, and you're gonna see this, and you're gonna see the website. Go sign up. There's an email too if you want to ask questions about how it works. When you go to the website, you'll see how it works, but it's really, really good stuff. And they have they have other stuff there as well. But this is the this is the go-to for you guys who want or manifest in uh, everything you are. Does talking aloud work more effectively than talking in your mind? 100% yes when you talk out aloud you're evacuating your ego and you're going directly to the source to the universe okay all right I said oh um, Ashker said I sent two dollars to the main office yeah I send a two dollar lottery ticket check to the main office and they send me two dollar check with my name on it I was so happy what can I do with this check now? Now, now you're suggesting. Well, if you have the check, look at the look at the lottery check. Here's the main points you look at. Don't look at the don't look at the money part of it. You know, you get two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, a hundred dollars. Just look at that check. Look at your name. Look where it says, "Pay to the order of," and put. Look at your name. And then when you see the money in there superimpose your desired amount of money you'd like to see on that check if this check says two dollars on it don't see two dollars see two followed by six or seven zeros two followed by three or four zeros your mind is very powerful your mind can superimpose that stuff okay is this iodine no this is not iodine this is a detoxifier of heavy metals Look, let me tell you, okay, imagine you're walking around, and you don't notice, and you have all this weight on you, right? So somebody put a whole, you have a book bag with a bunch of rocks on you for your entire life. You're walking around, and then, then I come along and I show you something. I say, hey, let me take that book bag off with all the weight. And as soon as you take the weight off, you just move it effortlessly. This does that. It takes all of that out. Now you have the weight off of you, your body's going to operate a lot better now, right? Your your body's gonna go back to its normal state because it's not bogged down. You know, it's like it's like a computer when a computer's running slow. You know, you take you, you reclean it, get the viruses out. That you just this is what this does for you. All of you guys know that. You run out of your clean slate, restock. Look, I'm almost out of mine. Uh, I, okay, I'll briefly describe because you guys are asking me, and then we'll go into the lecture. So uh, look, when I open it up, I'm going like this. Look, I say pull up one. So within this is about ten drops in this, right? They recommend you take 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon. But uh, follow, you know, kind of kind of gauge yourself. Start If you're going to start this new, start off with like, I recommend for the beginners, start off with 3 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon for the first week. Then notice how your body responds and go up. Now, there's some individuals that go 10 in the morning, 10. Maybe you can comment how many drops work for you. But I know particularly I have a uh, Job there. He's in, um, where is he, in, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, he had really bad insomnia, really like depression and all this stuff and anxiety. And he takes five in the morning, five in the evening, and it cleared it up for him really good. And for me, this is just for me now, what Mark, works on Mark, I do uh, seven in the morning and seven in the evening for me. Just focus on what works for you. you take, look, you go like this. The best way to do this, 
under your tongue, okay? Under the tongue, so it gets into this your system a lot faster. You drink a little bit of water, okay? I just demonstrated <laughs> on YouTube how I take vitamins. Okay. All right. Yes, so back to the lottery question, all right? Now, get your check and you superimpose your amount of money on there. That's when your mind starts to go. Now, look, guys, here's something I want you to understand, okay? You are currently being distracted. And so how, how are they stealing your power? When I talk about how are they stealing your power, I am talking about your environment, your the people, the system. I'm talking about the matrix. You got you have to know this. Would this interrupt my fasting? No, this doesn't interrupt your fasting. This has nothing to do with fasting. I'm it actually helps fasting. <laughs> because if your body is detoxing then it just actually speeds up the process to get you into the to the um what do you call it? Ephatophagy, where the cells start to eat up the dead stuff. How does it taste, Mark? Well, it's not sweet. It's not bitter. I mean, it's in between, you know. So for me, I'm used to the taste. That's what, what I do. I dilute a little bit of water, and then I take the drops. So it's, it's not a bad thing. Um, so when I talk about they're stealing your power, guys, what that means is... Okay, here's what here's what you gotta know. Right? I'm gonna teach you something you must know. Okay, this is gonna be shocking to some of you, but here's how it really works. My friends, we are not the first people on this planet, or in beings on this planet. We are evolutionary experiments from higher intelligent beings. Just like how we look at animals, they look at us kind of like that. Now, here's how it works. These beings, they don't really, really... To, uh, okay, the to us, the, they look at us like animals, like how we look at birds. And so with certain birds, we get interested in certain birds, but they look at everyone the same. Because when you're on this higher level of, intel of, not, of, ev of evolution or technology, so what they really care about is the earth the planet is what they really care about you notice why they show up at these nuclear sites when they when they're doing tests because that's the capability to destroy the planet earth the earth is a very precious thing it has many resources you can superimpose your direct deposit so let me show you how this works so with these beans here they have different hubs or what you call bases and they, they, they have a, there's a base in Australia there's a base in Zimbabwe Africa there's one in Alaska there's a couple under the seabed and what they do is they go out and do reconnaissance and watch and check and everything just like how we go out and check on animals so Mark what's the point of all of this all right the point of all of this is that um, a lot of this have been fed to you the wrong way you see the, they don't want you to know about the the existence i'm talking about they i'm talking about the matrix your constituaries the media all the, the religion thing it will blow up the religion thing apart they're yeah they're, they're distracting you basically video games are distracting you some of them may be angelic demonic some people say for sure but, but what we know is they are interdimensional you know the inter so it's not they're not I believe there's extraterrestrial, but what's what we're experiencing here is not extraterrestrial, it's interdimensional. Now remember I taught you guys, you should know this, this is I'm teaching you, I want you to learn this. This is how reality works. We are stacked up on stacks of different dimensions. We, we call it compactified in quantum, quantum mechanics. Compactification means that all these dimensions are curled up, but they're stacked up on each other, but they're in the same space, in the same region, right? So. I'm living. I'm living in. I'm living next to a dimension. Power. We call it parallel. Okay, it's a parallel universe, parallel world. That's why right, interdimensional. If someone have the technology that can come into our a dimension, to us, what do they look like to us? G O D S. Gods, right? They. 
you can't go into another dimension. They can come into your dimension. That's a technology that's like unimaginary, right? They're not physical. So in our dimension, they, that's why in our dimension, they can do things that look supernatural. That's why maybe you, when you see ghosts or things like that, it could be interdimensional. So, and they look like they're walking through the walls because they don't, the same physics don't apply to them in this dimension. You, we go into their dimension, maybe a different thing for us. Now we're in four dimensions, right? Now if, if, if they're interdimension, if you're, if you're interdimensional, you have to be 5D and up. Can't be 4D. This is why when you see these things, they look so weird. You're not seeing the, you can't see the full uh, thing of the object. You're just seeing how it looks in 4D. This is why it looks confusing. You'll see like a, sh a weird shape or a, a sphere within a bubble. And it's like, what the heck is that? Well, you're just seeing part of it because our eyes and our brain can only see three spatial dimensions. So to you and I, a higher dimensional being pops in, you're just seeing a part of it. The matrix has 12. Yes, there's about... Uh, in uh, super string theory... String theory, there's about 12 or 13 dimensions. Now, here's here's the, here's the main point of all this. So, there were people, there were people, right? Very smart, intelligent people, way back in the day. Like, we call it BC, AD, before Christ and all. We get that's a whole other stuff. But these people are the ones that created the governments and the religion. And these people, Vatican's. All of these people, they knew about this. They knew how powerful you are because it shows us that your consciousness projects in the entire multiverse. Now, now by the way, I must state this to you now. Just because they are higher intelligent be, or than us, it doesn't take any way f it doesn't take anything from the fact that it's still a game and that's what we are here to experience that because they are also part of us remember that because it's one consciousness it's one big consciousness branched off so keep that in mind so okay don't don't get carried away and think oh my god this is no it's just a part of the game but i'm not i want to speak to you now about being in the matrix now how it works is you they, you, they create a lot of distractions for you the distraction they create a lot of in this matrix is geared toward one part of your mind. Can you tell me what part of the mind they love to stroke? Give you a clue. What part of the mind they love to stroke? Not your, it's not your subconscious. Not your subconscious. It's your Roe Bridger got it. Your ego. Yes, you have reptilians. Listen, I'll say something about reptilians. And this is what you have to understand, guys. Check this out. Humans evolved from Hobo, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, to become Homo sapiens. There's a gap point in Homo sapiens with evolution could never have done. Homo sapiens came on this planet super fast. That was genetically in, genetically altered, purposely changed. Think about that. Scientists know that for a fact. So you and I were altered with alien DNA. Now, let's go to the reptilian thing. Someone is talking to me because I get this a lot. Mark, give you talk about the reptilian, all this stuff. Da, da, da. Okay, so I'm going to talk about it now. I'm going to show you something. And I, this is, the, I what I do is I give you information, and I make you think, and then you make the decision for yourself i'm not here to tell you hey this is what's happening i'm here to show you evidence to show you perspective and then you go look and then you make the final call but here it is the longest period of a species existing on the planet is hundreds of millions of years those were reptiles, the dinosaurs. Now, it is highly possible that throughout the evolution, these dinosaurs move from a animal state to a sort of a humanoid state. Just like Homo habilis moved from Homo habilis to Homo erectus. 
to Homo sapiens. You call, so it's possible that these, because they lived, they lived the longest before they got destroyed. And then when it got destroyed, they probably moved under the, under the ground, under the earth. We call them the reptilians. Someone says, if you don't put on lotion, your skin sheds like snake. We also, that's true. You also have a web. Did you know you also have a web in your fingers and you also have a tail? Did you know that when you're born, humans have a tail, but when, as a tail, it, it reflects the tracks? Did you know that? So the point is, I want you to just expand and just think about it. And just some of these things they're like hiding from you and not want, they don't want to tell you because most of it will cause hysteria. Most of it people can't handle. You can't, you know, you can't go to people and tell them that, hey man, I got, I got news for you. There's not really this like God that sits on a throne up there. It's like really, it's like you. It's like your consciousness is this God and it's projected inside of you. And like you're part of, you're like a God and you can like manipulate your world and change your world. You see, they, they, they can't tell a lot of people that. You guys, I can tell you that because you are high spirit beings. You are high conscious. You know this stuff. The majority of you know this already. So you, 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 before I told you this, you were already there. Right? Now someone says, well, Mark, what about the celebrities? How do they contribute to the matrix? Okay, guys, so within the matrix, they have set up clubs or groups. If you're not part of this group or club, you're, they're, you're blacklisted. You're an outcast. So in the matrix, there's hierarchies. Remember, guys, it's a game. So some of these celebrities, they have to partake in certain rituals. They have to partake. It's like, okay, let's put it to you. Again, it's a game. So in college, they have these sororities and these fraternities, right? Are the club. No, notice from when you're growing up, how they set you up. You got the Boys and Girls Club. You got the Cub Scouts. You got this organ, that organ. They're, they're putting your mind to be compartmentalized. They're showing you to be in different groups, different da 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 da, right? So when they create this, by the way, Hollywood is from a tree, the holly tree, which symbolizes like magic and things like that. So Hollywood is a bunch of mad magic. It's not, it, don't believe it. It's, it's, it's fake. It's just showing you what you what you want to see. It's playing with your mind in the matrix. That's how, that's how they distract you. So with these celebrities, a lot of them, they'll get into these. Um, the only way for them to be big is they have to like pledge. Some people say sell your soul, but you cannot sell your soul. I mean, you can sell your your MP, your main player character, but the soul is outside, so it's not. They don't sell their soul. What they sell is their conscious part of experiencing in this reality. Is their subconscious and their conscious mind? That's what they sell. Um, but you have to be into these uh, clubs in order to make like be big and blow up anything like that. So that's how it works in this, and. Yeah, you forget about you forget about these celebrities. So this is a great question someone asked me. So okay, so why do ghosts react to Bible verses if there's if there's no separate God? And that's an excellent question. And here's the answer for you. Okay, now check this out. Our reality is based on two things: our beliefs and our desires. Remember, it's a projected game. Your belief. In a verse is what affects the ghost to react remember even if the ghost comes in to your dimension it's still a part of your play so if you believe this verse is gonna affect this it's gonna affect that ghost just like I believed I would win the lottery and I won the lottery <laughs> that's why it affects it your beliefs are very powerful Every, anything that comes into this realm is also a part of your game. These higher beings, all that, that's a part of the game for all of us. This is your show, guys. Now listen, this should be very freeing for you, man. Because think about this. It, this what this says, it says that you have a power that they were hiding from you, man. They were saying 
that there is something outside of you that will dictate and tell you what you can and cannot do, what you deserve and what you don't deserve. They were telling you that there was a God like that. This God would punish you if you didn't do certain things. This God would reward you if you do. This God, this God, this God, is, a, this God is a jealous God. People, that's all man-made stuff, man. God cannot be jealous. Jealousy, do you know jealousy is made up by us? If it's higher, consciousness is just there. So you got to think to yourself. And free yourself. And then when you free yourself, you can talk to yourself. The God, the higher self of you. And guess what? He's not jealous. He doesn't punish. He doesn't tell you BS. He's there because it's you. And he's saying, listen, tell me what you want to experience. That's all I want to know. You're the one that's judging yourself. The next thing, this is how they distract you. They make you judge. They make you jealous. They make you feel like you're inadequate. Like you don't deserve. Like you're limited. It's all by design. Because if you really knew the true power you had, their whole system would implode. I tell you right now, if everybody woke up, everyone woke up, there is no mainstream media anymore. There's probably even no money anymore. Everything collapses, man. So you see why it's important that you cannot get out like that? Everything you desire desires you. It's because you are the one looking from it from another lens. So when you're in this matrix, now remember people, your spirit is not in the matrix. Your APC, your authentic player character is not here. It's up looking down in here. What's here is this, the avatar that's made to experience this. And the problem with the avatar, with me, I'm an avatar, you're an avatar. The problem with the NPC, the main player character in the simulation in the game, here's a problem with the, with the NPC. It's limited, man. It cannot do what it wants to do outside. Even though, you ever, you ever, have you ever got this thing in your mind that when you try to do something in your mind, the body wouldn't do it? Right? You're like, Man, my mind wants to do it, but my body can't do it. Because the mind is forever, forever young, for whatever. The mind cannot die. The mind is who you are. The body, however, is a product of the evolution. This is what we need to navigate. We got a head. We got the eyes. We got the ears. We got the hand. All of this is made to, you know, this breaks down. It comes up. So with that being said, you have to know, okay, this is my limited self, but my higher self can help the limited self. Now, you can take... You can maximize the potential of your limited self to have a marvelous experience while you're in this game. And how do you do that? Here's what you got to do, people. And I'm going to say this again. I'm going to give you a big advice. All of you, please. First, number one advice. Stop watching the news. Don't turn to Channel 6, Channel 7. Don't watch the morning show. Good morning, day, America, good day, whatever. Don't do that, man. Every time you do that, you are being played into their system. You do that, you stop doing that, a whole bunch of positive downloads are going to start to come into your head. All right, let me tell you a story. I'm going to show you how real this is. I'm going to tell you a story about me. I always used to watch the news, man. I just was watching the news. I just I never I never once thought in my life the news was bad. I just expected it the news. I watch it every day. My my mom watched it. I watched it. So I was like, okay, let me watch the news. Nothing pop. So once I learned, I started learning about my consciousness and the pot the my mind and how like things affect my vibration. And Every time I would get these anxiety attacks, 
I get some depression. I get like stomach issues, like indigestion, all this type of weird stuff for years. And the day, and when I stopped watching the news, I had none of that. Seven years, none of that. You see guys, when you're plugged in, if you watch the news, they, you're plugged in and they're gonna feed you fear juice. It's called fear juice. It goes right into your consciousness, it corrupts you. Everybody around you watch the news. Look at their faces. You don't do that. You stop doing that. That's how you're going to rise above and win. That's how you're going to become more confident, more conscious. Okay. What you, however, what what do you watch? It's fear. Yeah, fear juice, man. It's called fear juice. What what do you watch? You watch empowering juice. You can watch Netflix. But what, watch something on Netflix that's going to make you move towards your goal and desires. Set the algorithm of the matrix into your algorithm. Roe Bridger, TV. Yes, television tells lie to your vision. That's what's called television. It's correct. It tells lie to your vision. So that's one of the ways they distract you in the matrix. Watch self-empowering content. That's correct, Matt. Anything that's self-empowering is going to change your vibration and change your success. I was raised watching the news too. We all were raised watching the news. Okay. All right. Let, let me let me throw this in there now. The next thing they use to distract you and steal your power to manifest, guys. Here's the big one: is comparison. Everything in the world today is comparison. They want you to see a certain type of image or people or person you should be. What's the trend now? Super skinny, this da da da, you have to have this physique, you got to da 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 da. So when the ladies and the guys, when you look at this stuff, you see this girl, you see this man, you see, oh, when you look at yourself, you feel depressed. Instagram, all these models, all these very pretty, beautiful people, da da da. But then when you look at yourself, what comes to mind? I'm faulty. Something's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you, people. It's a trickery. It's an illusion. Now, here's what it works. If I can make you feel like something is wrong with you, you know what that's going to create? Tell me. You're going to be desperate to fix it. Correct? They got you. Now, listen, let's go deeper. If you're desperate to fix something, guess what's going to happen? Your thinking is not going to be critical. You're not going to think straight. You are going to be so easily influenced. I can snap you like this. Like, Come on. I want you to go do this. You go do that. Get that, that, that. Watch this, you do that. And then you become hypnotically tranced into it. See that? So my, I'm here to tell you something. Here's what I want you to know. You are a special individual. Your unique DNA, your unique fingerprint, your unique structure. There's no one else on this planet like this. So you are perfect the way you are. It's a fact, man. Those people on Instagram, they are perfect the way they are. And let me tell you something about those individuals, too. See, a lot of individuals you see, guys, and this is the truth about social media. And I got to tell you this. People on social media will only show the good part because that's what it sells. But the majority of those individuals, they have a lot of problems and stress just like you and I. They probably, they're probably in a worse situation than you. They're in a worse situation than you. Did you know that? You see, whatever they're doing on Instagram and all that stuff, guys, it's gonna make you get. It's gonna make you feel like I'm missing out. You're not, guys. It's a game. It's, it's how it works. It's it's just to get you into the into the into the 
subliminal subconscious role of that man don't buy into that you are you are the chosen ones you are higher you are the ones that are you are the lookouts you are the guards you are the protectors you are the ones that will wake up and say hey man this don't do it i'm telling you stop it's just gonna happen you're the guard you're the guard of the matrix this is why you get shunned okay let me tell you the next thing now this is very important this is deep now when you go out into the world all of you do you notice how regular people look at you guys how they react to you have you ever gone someplace and you feel a lot of like hate you ever feel like uncomfortable are people looking at you a lot they're staring at you a lot you're in a supermarket and you just feel like you're being watched you feel the heavies and you don't even know these people from Adam when they call Adam do you know what's going on why that's happening can, can you comment if you comment below if you if you know and I'll, cause I'm, I'll tell you do you know why total stranger people you never met in your life just don't like you they're just like jealous they haven't met you don't know your personality you're in a supermarket they're looking at you like Jane made a great comparison and also keep in mind guys now the age we're going into now the cycle of 2024 keep in mind that a lot of your social influencers are AI now if you notice on YouTube guys it's rare you're gonna find live people like me sitting in my car talking all these new YouTube videos now all the spiritual ones now you're seeing are these AI voices talking spiritual stuff you're not even seeing real interactive people you're just seeing the stock images you're seeing these using these voices and they're telling the spiritual stuff and they're reading from a uh, chat GPT and they're telling you to raise your vibration and all this and that I mean that's what you see you see you, you're not seeing the real time influencers like me and other that's been doing this a while so keep that in mind that that's that's only going to get more so again be aware of who you're following now there's nothing wrong I'm gonna go back to to the people staring you and telling you what's going on but look there's nothing wrong with you watching like these other spiritual teacher like the AI talking about raising your right all of that but when you're doing it you have to be aware of what it really is mark what is really AI AI is artificial intelligence what it means is it's a it's a algorithmic learning software so all it is it takes all the information that's ever been on the internet and they create a digital concept or picture of it and then they feed it with a voiceover and it talks like a regular person it could take my voice they could take your voice it could take Denzel Washington voice they could take Morgan Freeman's voice they could take any Obama's voice and it could turn it into an AI and talk that talk and talk about spiritual stuff that's what YouTube is doing now so just you can yeah those contents are great they can help you but you have to remember the source of it okay love the new book yes thanks Trevor get the new book that book teaches how to do now let's go back to um the power okay guys so why are these people that you don't know giving you the funnies why do they look at you like that why do you feel some resistance tell me why what is it anyone know anyone know you're too high vibrational yes they are AI in person you have something they want to have they feel your power okay let's go to the animal kingdom I'm gonna show you the, what the thing that talks to us is our vibes in the animal kingdom okay when a lion walks when a lion walks in 
All the other animals, they sense it and they run. And the reason why they sense it is because the lion automatically gives dominance. And their, their subconscious is programmed to succumb to dominance. It's basically what you are. Whenever you walk in those rooms and those things, you, your energy is more dominant. Not saying dominant like, I'm better than you, you better get in my way. Not that dominant means that your energy is so high that as human beings, we have a program default in our system. When we don't know something or don't understand something, it makes us feel uncomfortable, we automatically shun it. And that's what they're doing to you. They're shunning you because you are something they don't understand and they can't figure you out. It's a natural human thing. Okay? It's not saying that they just hate you, just hate you. It's their first protective barrier. And once you talk to the person, then they say, oh, you're really a nice person. Okay, then. Then they may go down. But their first initial protection is, okay, this, I don't know what it is about this person, but this person is like, it's because your energy is so much more higher. And then they, they're going to, you're going to feel threatened. It's just a net, there's something they cannot control. It's a subconscious. It's, it was put into us in our monkey brain for survival to make us run, to make us protect ourselves. When you see something that's big, intimidating, you ought, your subconscious automatically knows, well, I can't, hand, I can't challenge this, so I got to run. That's basically what happens to you when you're out in your field. So that's why you have to protect your energy. And this is why also, here's a big one. This is why a lot of us are loners. You are a loner. Listen now, you are a loner but you are not alone. It's a big difference. A loner, but you're not alone. So keep that in mind. And the reason you are become a loner is because most of the people around you, they are just not, cannot get it. They just cannot mesh with your energy. It's just not conducive. And here's the thing. Unfortunately, there is more there's less of us than there are more. So it's going to be a part of your life and your journey. So get used to it and stop complaining and accept it because it is a tremendous power to have. And guess what? You will meet someone on your level. You will attract it, but you got to remember you are here on a mission, man. You have a mission to do. So your mission here is not necessarily to like care what people think or try to get accepted by people and all. That's not your mission, man. Your mission is like, you know your mission is in your desire, whatever. All of you, all of us have a mission. Like I'm doing my mission right now. This is my, I'm a HPC to you. I'm the helper player character in your world. That's, so I'm playing my mission. So what is your mission? So when you're on your mission, your mission is always the big picture. Everything else is just side pieces. So when I mean side pieces, like side dish, appetite, whatever you want to call it, it's not the main part. It's something that you can uh, establish a little bit, entertain it for a little bit, and then you go back to the big mission. Don't let the side pieces distract you. If you if you get if you get if you let the side pieces distract you, man, you know what's gonna happen? Your higher self is going to come in and pull you up. And you're going to be up for a rude awakening. So you have to always see the big picture of your mission here. Your purpose. What is it you come here? Let me tell you something deep. Some of us came here never to have a relationship. Some of us came here never to look fall in love. So some of us came here to fall in love, to have a relationship. Some of us came here never to get married. Some of us came here to get married. 
find out what your mission is and don't try to deviate from it. Oh, my ego. Oh, Mark, I, I can't be alone. I got to find someone, man. I'm used to having a boyfriend or girlfriend. I mean, what if that's not your mission? What if your mission is... Okay, let me tell you, the people who are okay with not being in a relationship and being in a relationship, they automatically have it in their body. They'll be programmed for it. So it won't bother them that much. The people who come here to have a relationship, they'll be fiending for it. Because that's part of their mission. So that's what I'm telling you. Learn your mission. And here's, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Because before, you, were, you, you came here before and you were in a relationship. You came here before, you were in love. This time around, you just doing something else so don't stray from your mission you you played every part every role every character this time you're whatever you're playing someone says it hurts though no what hurts is your ego what hurts is the people telling you is the is the comparison is the program is what they're telling you you need to do that's what hurts you can't hurt who you are can never hurt that's all emotional gibberish if you look if you look at the big picture all right I'll say this here's the beauty of you if your mission here is to just come experience navigate do your thing that was your mission but when you came here you're like man I kind of like this ego game. I don't want to go fall in love. I want to get a girlfriend. I want to get a boyfriend. I want to do all that stuff. You know what? You kind of have the free will to do that. So you're going to go do that, right? But here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show you something deep. When you do those things, it's not going to work out for you in the long run. Because it wasn't a part of your mission. You get a, heart, a lot of heartbreaks, toxic things. It wasn't part of your overall mission. You can still go do it. You can go do it as much as you want. There's nothing going to stop you. You can go out there again and go get love and get hurt again and go again and do all that stuff. You can do it. But your mission is always going to be calling you. It's not, listen, it's not saying it's going to be this, this nomad, no love. None. That's, not what I'm, that's not what it's saying. It's saying you can come here. And you can experience all of those things. But it's saying that for the ones who know their what their mission is, if you come if you came here to find love and relationship and marriage, then that's gonna it's gonna be an easy follow for you to do. For the ones who just wanna just dip into it, experiment it with, experience it, you can do that as well. But don't don't stay in something that the season is over already. That's what I'm that's a big picture of it. It's not saying that you're just care like oh man no, no, no. you can change it up anytime but the point is just just don't lose focus of your big picture if you want to get a relationship you're the you, it's your movie you can get you can attract the right person to do it and then your mission will accordingly change blah, blah, blah. but you still got the big picture all I'm saying to you don't force if it's not working hey mark thanks for the 888 do we have to sit up to meditate effectively? Can I meditate while I'm laying down right before sleep? Guys, you can meditate walking. You can meditate sitting down. You can meditate lying down. You can meditate any time of the day. You can meditate on the phone. You can meditate when someone puts you on hold and say, hey, can you hold on for three minutes? And they put the, they put the music in the background. You can meditate then. You can meditate anytime. Yeah, the main point is, and uh, Panth Panthic says it, guys, you came here not to be attached to anything. You came here to experience, but not attached to stuff. Is it possible to manifest very fast? Yeah. Okay, here's the rule on this. Everything manifests very, very fast. Nothing manifests slow. A matter of fact, the minute you think of your desire, it manifests. Can you tell me what's the problem? Mark, if it manifests so fast, where is it? Oh, that's the problem right there. So can tell anyone tell me what's going on with that? 
I just told you that anything you think about, it's manifested instantly. Where is it, Mark? Well, that's what I want to know. I mean, I know where it's at. I want to know if you know. Yeah, it's right here in front of you, but okay, so why don't you have it? If I said it manifests instantly and it's super fast. Some of it resistance, some of it belief, but it has to do with the quantum field and how and how the 3D reality works. Believers, okay, here's how it works. Whenever you think of something, it instantly manifests. But it's in the warehouse. It has to get shipped from the warehouse to your house. Okay, I'll make it easy for you to understand. When you go order something, then they put your order in, it's in the warehouse already. You know that, right? It's in the Amazon warehouse, it's in the whatever warehouse. So it's there, right? Am I technically am I right then? When you order something, it's right there at the warehouse. So the warehouse gotta do what? Gotta go on the plane. If it's closed, they gotta go in the truck, you gotta drive it, deliver it, in case a couple of days, whatever, and then it comes into your residence. So okay, so here's the gap for you. So when you manifest something, it instantly pops in, but the problem is the brain is so slow to process the experience of it. In your subconscious mind, this is why when you have an emotion or a feeling, it feels real and it can't tell the difference, because in the subconscious world, it's a physical, tangible object in, that different, in a different dimension, in the 5D dimension. To us, our brains are just so slow at processing the event that that looks to us as time. And then what makes your brain process slower is the resistance, is the not believing. Those things slow down the process of you seeing. And that comes to you and I as months, days, and years to manifest something. But in actual reality, it was already there as an actual event and a probability of existence already in a fifth, sixth dimension. So all you have to do, if you want to manifest, so now, I mean, I just, well, now you, I mean, now you know if you, when you manifest something fast. So the question should be, all right, and so how can I get it more effectively to show up, right? Because now, you know, there's no fast, it's manifest instantly. So the question, how can I slow that time made, time delay down or how do I make it more effective or something like that, right? To come into your world? Well, guys, there's only two things you can do. Number one, first, let me say this. Everything is going to show up at the perfect time by you, for you, from you, the higher self. So I don't have any control of when that thing is going to happen. It's up to my authentic self. I'm just a player character. He's the, he's, the, he's the boss. So he's going to tell me, he's going to download and tell me, Mark, go there to get that prize. Go there to get that result. He just, all he wants me to do is just stay in the game, enjoy the experience of the game, the journey of the game, and then know, remind me that, hey, I got this already for you, but I'm just going to give it to you when I have things set up a correct time. So you don't control the time of manifesting something. It's going to show up when according to your... However, what you do control is you can control the... I best want to put it to you. You can speed up the efficiency of seeing it. That, that'll make your brain think you manifested it fast. And you speed up the efficiency of it by keeping your beliefs consistent. Okay, number one. By keeping the resistance out of the way. Resistance means by not doubting yourself, being confident, and everything like that. And, the, and so how do I, you know how I fixed it? I said, all right, what is a UFO? I'll get to that. You know how I fixed it? I, when I realized this truth and I understand how the universe works, I said, all right, 
so how can I get get this thing to like not bother me? And I was like, okay, so why don't I just cut out the time? Period. It's like, what are you talking about, Mark? You're crazy. How are you gonna cut out time? Well, time is relative to the observer. Time moves differently for everyone. Time is independent to the person. So that means if I am watching this from my perspective time, time is just an asset or a accessory of the matrix. Yeah, I could cut out time. So that's what I did. I cut out time. I don't look at manifestation anymore in time. I look at manifestation in expectation. And when it comes, it comes. So that's what I did. It worked, it's working a whole lot better for me now. My ego is not like tripping anymore because I cut him out. I'm now living in the moment, in the now. It's everything is a now. Now, now, now. Even my mind goes to tomorrow, I said, back to now, brother. So that's what I did. And then things just show up like real fast for me because I don't have the time. Now you, it's going to seem like a lot of time because you're still living in time. So I encourage you guys to cut out the time. Because, it's, guys, the time is just a accessory in the matrix. It's not real anyway. It's a part of the play to make the matrix run. And you can, you know, you there's like in a video game. You can add certain um, levels or certain things in the game, or you can also take certain things off the game. So just take out the time of the game. And then you'll see a lot better results coming into your life. So yeah, pretending you have something in the present moment brings it to you a lot faster. Now, so, okay, when you look at it, you get it. UFO, unidentified flying objects, UFOs are, in short, a UFO is a higher being that's watching its um, experiment. Someone told me that the UFOs are the, um, those beings, they look at us like we're containers. They look at human beings as containers, and this is what, this is what was told to me. They look at human beings as containers and they made an invented religion to keep us from destroying ourselves, from destroying the container. So they made everything up for you about the God, the religion, the church, and they told you all this stuff so that you wouldn't go kill yourself and destroy all of ourselves. They call it UAP now. But they look at human beings as containers. Now, for containers of what? I don't know. Maybe it could be containers of energy, containers of something, but that's how they see us as. And to them, it's a thought experiment. It's an experiment, just like how we experiment on animals. But again, here's the big picture now. Remember that, the big picture, it's still a game within the game. So, that's why when you see the, at the nuclear sites, they're like, oh my God, what are these dummies doing now? They're gonna blow up themselves and the earth. Oh my God, stop it. Like they're getting too slick. How are you going to create something that could destroy you and your and your whole self and the whole world? You don't do that. No intelligent, no real intelligent beings do do things like that. So it shows that this species have a long way to go, man. Long way to go. Right? How do we deal with people who question us while we pretend do we lie? Number one is you don't deal with people because you don't tell people that. Guys, you gotta understand again, you're in a different level here. The stuff you know and the stuff you're doing, you can do it in secret, man. You cannot tell people because they're gonna look at you as a quack. I mean, you don't care, but some of you haven't gotten to that point yet. Until you get to the point where you're so high, you're so above, that you don't care what they say to you, tell the world. But most of you haven't gotten to that point yet. Most of you are still in your journey, you're still learning, you're still getting a little ego. So there are people who will influence you. So my advice to you, do your thing in secret. Don't tell anybody. Only tell people who believe like you. Like when you come on this chat or in the group or in my school community, that's why I built the community for all of you to just talk like this and then show your manifestation and you don't have to be ridiculed. And you know everybody in there is doing the same thing. <clears throat> and you know that's going to amplify your manifest. You're going to manifest more and it's only our secret and we know and all that. So you don't tell people these things because it's, it's above their pay grade 
They cannot, they're not going to understand. It's like going to a dog. It's like you're going to your dog and you're telling your pet the theory of relativity and you're explaining to your dog how atoms create me and you and we're empty space. That's what it's like when you tell people who don't know this stuff. That's how they're going to look at you. I don't care what it is. It could be your mom, your dad. They're all going to look at you the same way. Because they're not, they're not privy to this e expansion yet. Yes, here we go. See, so yes, my daughter and I keep winning. And the numbers are getting so high. It feels so damn good. Listen, I, listen. So there was a better time when I was on that streak, winning the streak of the lotteries and all those tickets, and I got two one thousand dollar back to back and all that stuff. You know, I would go to the same place to like check tickets, some cash some of these tickets, and the lady there. Every time I would go there, she would always give me this look. The first thing she would say when I get into the store, she's like, "I don't have enough money." Because you know, so you got, you got to, when you win, you got to pay you out. She's like, "I don't have enough money today. I only got four hundred, five hundred dollars." I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna. I don't have that much winnings today, or da da da, something like that. But she would always give me this look. And then one day I asked her. I said, I said, hey, can I ask you a question? And she said, yeah. I said, why, why do you look at me so funny? Like, you know, like I'm doing something wrong. Just ask her. And she said, look, to be honest with you, man, I thought you were a scammer. I said, what? She said, I thought you like work for the lottery or somebody in the lottery to win these tickets. Cause ain't nobody coming here winning like this. I see people buy twenty, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars and win one. And every time you come, you winning these tickets. So uh, she said, a matter of fact, here what she said. She said, a matter of fact, I called the lottery. She called the lottery. I'm like, how can you scam the lottery? You see what I'm saying? That's because when people see things that are look like supernatural or weird, they get threatened. They say, oh, you, there's no way this guy could come here and be winning like this. Something is up. He either knows somebody in the lottery or something going on because you ain't going to come in here and have all these winning tickets. Like, And then when I told her, it even got worse. So when I went and I told her and she said, all right. I, she said, I know you're not a scammer. I know that now because, I, you know, the lottery told me, like, you know, it's impossible the way they set things up. She said, so how you win these tickets, man? What are you doing, man? Are you spending a lot of money? Are you spending thousand dollars buying these tickets? And I was like, no. I said to her, I said, you know what I do? She said, yeah, tell me, man. I want to know. I want to learn. She's like, I got this number here I've been playing. What number should I play? Give me four numbers to play. And, just, and I said to her, I said, all right. I did give her four numbers. And I told the lady, I said, listen, this is what I do. You know, I go home and I like visualize. I lost her then. She was lost. She's like, huh? I said, I, I see the number in my mind. And then I see a picture of a machine and I go to the machine to buy the ticket. I lost her. It got even worse. She she she, she got even more dis distance from me. Now she thought I was really a quack. <laughs> so I was like, see, well, my point is so there are people out there that aren't going to get you man and just it's fine it's just because they're not used to this and they're not the belief is in there and no one taught them this and they're just there's in the matrix and it was funny when i while i was saying that to her something good happened though there was a lady behind me and i, I think she was with her boyfriend and i was catching all this ticking and she was like look she's like look you see this guy? look look at all these stuff he's with and the guy was like hey man how long you had them tickets i said oh these tickets are like two weeks three weeks I said, man, how much you spend, man? I said, I just buy them when I feel like, man. I don't spend it. I just go like one here, one there. If I feel it, sometimes I don't do anything. Like, for real? And, she, and then she said, she said, how you been doing it? I said, I visualize. And she was like, she tapped me. She said, I told you. She said, yeah, I've been doing that too. I said, oh, you've been visualizing? She said, yeah, yeah, I like, I like that. I'm into the mind stuff. And then her boyfriend, you could see he was kind of coming around. He's like, oh, there's something to this guy. He's like. Because he was seeing somebody was physically doing it in front of him. And I, I mean, I had tickets at 500 winners, 500. It was one ticket was 1,000 winners. It was like 200, 100, blah, blah, blah. all the tickets coming in like that. And um, he was like, 
I, I could tell with with him now, he was coming around. He was like, okay, there's something more to this. His expression was different than the lady at the counter. And he was more intrigued now, especially because his girl was doing it. And his girl touched him and said, look. And he said, man, for real? I said, you visualize that? I said, yeah, man. I said, you know, you can like, you can feel stuff. It's like, yeah, man, she be telling me that, man, but I don't be know. I mean, I don't know about it, bro. He's just like he said to me, I don't know about it, bro. I was like, have you tried it? He's like, he's like, I mean, nah. He said, just exact, his exact words, like, now I am seeing all that winning. You go, I'm going to try it. And she's like, for real? She's like, so he went out and I was winning a little bit. And you ain't going to try it for me? And he was like, he won a lot of money. That was the exact conversation. He's like, he won a lot of money. I'm going to try that. He, said, and he was like, man, what, what do I need to do? So I gave him a tip. I was like, look, I'll give you a starting tip. I said, write these numbers down, man. On, if you want to do scratch-offs, write these numbers down. Said, what, man? He said, look, if you see a ticket number, I have number, ticket number 7 on it, number 11, number 13, number 21, number 22 in Florida. I was like, any numbers with these double digits? You, go, you want to purchase those because more than likely you're going to either get your money back or you're going to win a big prize. Because I, said, I told him, man, the lottery, for some reason, man, they put, like, winning tickets on these, like, numbers because these numbers represent, like, fortune or high vibration stuff to him. He's like, for real? Like, yeah, man. I was, like, I was like, especially the ticket number seven on it, man. If you see a ticket with number seven on it, because seven is like a big thing. And that's the time I have for today, guys. So I just want to give you some enlightenment and tell you to keep going that you're special, you're doing it, and don't let anybody put you down. And there were some people are going to be skeptic, they're going to believe it, they're going to look at you weird and all that, but it doesn't matter because you're still winning and you're still manifesting and it's just you're the one that's going to be laughing your way to the bank so to speak right so i will see you guys again next time bye